Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching Georgia Beer Reviews back at you today with another one. What I'm looking at is a beer out of Germany. This is the Zvonitzer Stein Beer. Dark Special. Uh, comes out of Edgera Brewery. Uh, as most of the beers from the advent calendar that I received seem to come out of, although there are different breweries within that brewery or contract brew beers from other owned breweries. It's hard to say for sure. It does say brewed and owned by private brewery H. Edgerer. But uh, if you go to the app, it says Vonister Brewery or Vonister Browery. So the Zvonister is its own brewery, I suppose, but maybe they're contract brewed by Edger. Um Anyway, guess it doesn't really matter. It's all about the beer in the end, and if you can get this beer and what you think of it, and does it match up with what I say. 5.6% um, alcohol by volume. Never had this beer, obviously. I've never had any of the beers in the Kalia, K-A-L-E-A. That's how it's spelled, Kalia. Advent calendar 2023 that I received. They're all 500 milliliter cans as well, which is really nice. You get that 17 ounces. Um, so, yeah, what the heck? I am really confused by some of these beers in this advent calendar. I mean, even on the label, on the app that I downloaded that it says to for, for the uh, barcodes to get more information and on the can itself, I mean, it is a product of Germany, as you can see right there, but it says dark special. This is supposed to be a dark beer, and I haven't shown you the beer yet. There it is. It's a golden, it's a golden clear beer with nice streaming bubbles going up the glass. I don't know what's going on with some of these I've only had one maybe two so far out of the whole pack the whole advent calendar that have actually been dark in color but I've had six or seven that had said on the label dark special or or yeah, I mean even the Martsons that are supposed to be like caramel colored you know I mean at least that's what a Martson is here in America they're light like this but this one is supposed to be dark so I really just don't understand um, and even, let's see, on the app, if I were to look at the a Stein Beer Dark Special, uh, da, da, da. it doesn't say anything in the description about it actually being dark, though. Yeah, I don't know. It's confusing to me here in America. Anyway, it smells like a like a standard like German lager, uh, fest beer, nice grassy hops, some nice bready malt aromas, but that's really it. I'm not getting any fruity fruity notes with this one. A little grassy, earthy hops with the bready malt character, and that is pretty much it. And at 5.6%. Pretty sessionable, too. Let's just uh, go ahead and dive in. Cheers, guys. Standard German lager. I mean, it's delicious. Nice, bready malt character. A little bit of grassy hop note. Maybe slight earthiness as well. Very minimal bitterness, nice and bready and malty, slightly sweet in the middle. Um, really no fruity notes with this one. This is just a standard German lager as far as I'm concerned. A little bit, actually, a little bit more bitterness as you kind of swallow it down on that second sip there. Um, but still, very balanced. It's not a very bitter beer, but there's a little bit more bite. On that second sip, let's see if there's uh, if that persists. Yeah, nice, uh, almost moderate bitterness on the finish to round out the malt forward presentation. Earthiness, grassiness, 
with that bite. Nice spreadiness, no fruitiness with this one. Pretty straightforward with the malt and the hops. It's, uh, it's a winner. I don't know, I feel like I got a dock at points so though. Dark special, there's nothing dark about it. There's nothing roasty about it. It's just bready, it's hoppy. It's a standard German Pilsner, German lager. I'll give it a 91. It's an A minus. It's excellent, but it's on the lower end, and it's it's kind of false advertising. You got this black can with yellow trim. It says dark special on the label. I don't I don't know what gives. I really am having a hard time understanding what some of these German beers uh, are all about. If what they're supposed to be about, really. But it says Stein beer dark special and a stein beer is not a dark beer typically i i don't know let me know in the comments below if you guys have had this beer what you make of the whole dark special thing it's very confusing to me i mean maybe i'm just not doing enough research into this into these brands and these particular beers but the martsons and the the beers that say that they're going to be dark for the most part they're all light they're great, great beers, but they don't, it's not at all, in the smoked beers, the Roche beers, only one of them has actually really been smoky and had a little bit darker color to it. The other two or three that I've had, and you'll see the reviews for all of them here at some point if you watch my channel, they're light, they're crisp, they're refreshing, but there's no smoked malt character, and they just taste like standard German lager beers, which is great, that's a great style but not if you're looking at the label and you're like, oh, I'm gonna get a smoky beer, and you don't get that. Same thing with the dark special beer. Oh, I'm gonna get a darker roasted malt beer with a little bit more character, and then you get a nice, more of a fest beer type um, lager from, from Germany. So, I don't know. Um, so 91 out of 100 for the Zvonitzta Stein beer, dark special. Buy it, try it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. That'll do it for this beer review. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Until next time, everybody. Cheers.